Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to another Shoutcast commentary brought to you by Rack Goska. Uh, we're going to be looking at Discorax's play yet again in uh, this Terran versus Terran match on Slag Pits. We have Discorax spawning as the Red Terran in the northern position, and we have his partner, Black Hole Sun, in the western position. This map, Slag Pits, is a rough map. You've got your expansion here. You've got your natural expansion down here, and you've got... Oh look, your opponent's natural expansion, and main expansion, and natural expansion, and main expansion, and natural expansion, and main expansion. Yeah, other way around. <laughs> anyway, the only other expansions that you could take are these golds that are here, in the northwest, and here, in the southeast. And then this one watchtower that's guarded by the center. Uh, there are pathways you could take to your opponent, uh, straight through here. So it's just overall, it's just a, it's, I mean, it's not the best map. I mean, yeah, you can take up to five bases, but for the most part, you're just kind of limited as to what you have to do. You know, your options. You just can't take a lot of bases. So men, generally, games don't last too terribly long on this map, um, and it does make for some pretty rough play. Um, most games I've played have been faster games where just quick aggression on two base. A lot of two base aggression because uh, once you go to expand to your third base it's so far out in the open that it's just so easy to do some pretty sick damage uh, we do have black hole sun getting a refinery up so it looks like he's going to be going for some kind of tech build maybe some quick marauder play uh, maybe some fast g tanks as we do have disc uh getting his refinery out as well uh, so it does look like these players are doing mirror ish builds right now although black hole sun is just slightly ahead currently uh, at 15 over 15, but he's just a little, like a half about 15 seconds ahead right now. As he is getting that orbital command morphed in right now. Uh, TVT matchup, uh, you do see a lot of uh, marine tank Viking, or marine tank medevac. I've definitely been looking at doing a lot of uh, fast banshee openers into marine tank medevac in my TVTs. And then following it up with some uh, late game battle cruisers with the new buff that they got just because they uh, can't get kited around by Vikings anymore. And it definitely adds some serious firepower to your arsenal and to your army. Uh, if we look at the both players though, we do have Black Hole Sun who has not scouted at all. Uh, but we do have Discorax who does know about his opponent's base and seeing that quick second gas uh, could be an indication for some Banshee play. Uh, as he does have enough gas he could easily get a factory. Yep, there goes his factory right now. Could easily get a starport turned down as well and get fast uh, Banshee out right away. Uh, which can do some pretty serious damage in the opening game versus Terran. They have to waste scans in order to take down that cloaked Banshee. Otherwise, they uh, if they know it's coming ahead of time, you know they can get a missile turret up in time. But uh, Stimpak also taking so long to research, you can actually get a lot of kills on a lot of their Marines by doing some good kiting with that Banshee. We do have Stimpak being researched now for Black Hole Sun. Uh, Discorax is getting his factory up as well, but like I said, he's still just about 25 seconds behind in the exact. And they're doing pretty much the same build. Um, although Discorax has two Raxes versus Black Hole Sun's singular barracks. Uh, and we do now have that starport going up, so it looks like we could be seeing a 1 1 1 build coming up. Um, but what I like to do is I like to build this tech lab on this factory, lift it off, and land it nearby, and then rebuild another tech lab and then lift the starport up and land it right there to get that banshee out as soon as possible. Uh, so that's one little uh, trick you can do to get those banshees up. It looks like he's going for siege tech research right away um, and getting that. And that's an interesting icon. I don't think I've seen one that's a paw before. Uh, I'll have to, to look and see why uh, how he got that one. Uh, maybe by winning enough matches you get those decals. Uh, me for mine I use the uh, the Diablo skull for my Terran because uh, I think that looks the coolest. Uh, we do now have Stim coming up for Discorax, and he's getting a reactor on that first barracks, tech lab on that second barracks. Um, he does have a bunker outside of his base with not a lot of units inside, but he still has the bunker. And we do have that scout now going out for Black Hole Sun. And he's not going to see much. He's going to see a bunker loaded with Marines and going to be taking some damage. And uh, it looks like he's going straight into medevac production, no quick Banshee. Um, which is kind of sad because it does quite a bit of damage, especially in these spawn points. You can fly in the back, pick off a whole bunch of SCVs. And before these marines get back to you, you can fly away. And then just keep kind of poking. Um, especially if you have cloak. You can pick off some of these supply depots here. Pick off the refinery. 
um, possibly even pick off this factory. It all depends on what you're seeing and what you're going for. Um, but we do just have them keep building medevacs. Looks like we're building tanks. We've got marines popping out. Um, got another barracks on the way. Uh, it be interesting to see some of these players do some expanding. Um, or it looks like we might have a small push coming, perhaps. Possibly even load these units into the medevac and drop them in Discarax's base and do some pretty good damage that way as my cat jumps across the keyboard and changes my field of vision. Yep, and we do have that medevac loading up right now. And looks like, yep, the medevac is going to pick up that tank and let's see where he decides to go. Uh, one thing you can do is you can put your tanks and marines right here. I'll siege up the tank and then drop the marines up here and the tank will basically cover for the marines and you can actually do quite a bit of damage that way. Uh, so we'll see what he decides to do. Or you could even just park the tank down here, leave the marines behind for, for support. Uh, but we'll see, it looks like he might be going right just for the base. Yep, looks like he's going to go right for the base. One thing you can do with your medevacs to save time is you can do what's known as a shift drop, where you basically shift click the medevac to go here, hold down D and click, and then when the medevac gets to that point, they'll automatically start dropping those units. Um, we do have a lot of damage being done here to Discrax as he loses those two supply depots. Looks like they're going to be going for some more supply depots. Um, and it looks like this tank here is going to be trying to, to hold that off. As you have that SCV going in and unseaged right now. Let's see if he can pick off these two tanks before... Oh, looks like he's just going to pick those back up. Alright, let's see what you decide to do with those tanks as we do have a small force here coming from the front of the base. Oh, looks like he's going to take that Marine out. Uh, looks like he, yeah, he's just returning home with those two barracks, or those two, those units. Yeah, did quite a bit of damage with that first initial attack. Uh, luckily for Discorex, he was able to get those SCVs out of there. Uh, currently sitting at 14 SCVs over 25, so he did lose quite a few. Um, definitely could think about expanding soon. But if we notice that Black Hole Sun during that engagement didn't actually build anything and floated up to about 1500 minerals, also getting supply blocked in the, at the same time. And he does not have any supply depots being built right now. Oh, there he goes. Now he gets two being built. Um, so that'll definitely help him keep from beginning supply blocked. Uh, but yeah, that definitely is good. Big, he's going to float a lot of minerals while he's waiting for those uh, supply depots to be built. He might as well push out with another attack. Use those units for as much as they can before they uh, are cease to exist. As we do have engineering bay coming up as well. And we do have those tanks pushing out. Looks like to the natural expansion so he can get an expansion put up. Uh, as he puts that command center up there. It looks like those marines are just kind of looking to see what they can see as we do not have that natural expansion being started. And it looks like Discrax is getting ready to start his expansion as well as soon as he gets up to about 400 minerals. Um, but we do have a missile turret going up in the back of his base just to keep from any medevacs going up to do any damage. Supply is currently 43 over 59. So we see both players are definitely supply blocked. And we do not have a Banshee coming out. So it looks like he... Uh, opted just to get a couple of medevacs right away and then throw down a tech lab to get some banshees out so it looks like this is definitely a harassment style play uh, luckily for Discorex he does have this missile turret up um, so he's definitely going to want to cancel cloak once he gets to that uh, once he gets and seizes that missile turret he's going to want to cancel that cloak and keep it from finishing otherwise he's going to be wasting 200 minerals and 200 gas but luckily at this level of play it doesn't matter too terribly much as uh, both players are relatively even in their mistake making abilities um, we do have that expansion about halfway finished right now. Two reactors going up for on those barracks and starting a second factory. And why is the tank attacking its own tech lab? And no more cloak research. But looks like he's probably gonna just gonna throw down a reactor so we can get uh, double medevacs or double Vikings instead. Because it looks like he didn't know about that. Uh, no, he knew about the engineering bay, but he assumes probably assumes for turrets. Interesting, these players are making me look bad. As he's not getting a reactor, he just decided to blow up his uh there it goes. Whew, I knew he wasn't gonna let me down. That was close. As we do have several SCVs just kinda chilling across the map, but it looks like he's just getting ready for these bases to finish. As he is rallying them to the outside of his command center instead of rallying them to minerals. Uh, we do have those two banshees flying out across the map right now. 
and discorrects me while still getting ready to take that expansion as he does now have the 400 minerals he can throw that up. There he goes. Um, these Banshees are definitely going to spot that, probably take out that SCV and delay that command center, uh, which was what I would do if I were flying over here. I would fly, see this command center being built, pick off that SCV, fly into the base, seeing as there's no detection up here in the front, start picking off these tanks um, as they do take the longest to, uh, unit to build, and then maybe focus down some of those Marines if I still had time before uh, I was detected.